The Morning Jam with Janet Rose and Mark Lamb. Anna Benson is the Assistant Director of Economic Development for the City of Lynchburg. And uh, she is joining us this morning to talk about the economic impact of the uh, Virginia Commonwealth Games, which are going to be coming to uh, Liberty University and has uh, 15 sports that are going to be featured this weekend. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Very well. Very, very happy to have you on the show this morning. Tell us uh, a little bit about um, exactly what it means to bring in uh, an event like the uh, Commonwealth Games and what that means economically to the city of Lynchburg. Well, sure. Um, well, the Commonwealth Games is a, this, I think this is the 33rd year of the Commonwealth Games. So it's a longstanding um, event in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And Lynchburg has hosted it for about the last six years um, in partnership with Liberty University, because obviously we all know that Liberty has, you know, incredible sports facilities. facilities yeah. um, yes. And um, such a welcoming atmosphere to all these um, young families, um, young, young athletes and their families. Um, as well as, you know, we utilize um, facilities across the city as well with Lunchford Parks and Recreation and some of the other colleges and universities as well. So um, this event is longstanding. Um, this weekend is what we call Main Games Weekend. They have sporting events throughout the year, um, but this is when they're all sort of clustered around um, in Lynchburg and at Liberty. And we're expecting, um, you know, 15 sports, probably about 5,000 athletes. These are all amateur athletes, so youth and some adult amateur athletes as well, um, with total attendance probably in the ten to 15,000 range this year. Um, so we actually run um, economic impact calculations on all of our special events and sporting events that we bring into the city, and we're expecting this one this year to have an economic impact of about $1.5 million in direct spending in our local economy. So that's folks that are coming into the city, and, you know, spending money in restaurants and attractions and, you know, really exploring our city while they're here and enjoying all that Lynchburg has to offer. Very good. Um, so how much how much money are, are we expecting that to bring in uh, to to the city? Do you have any estimates on that? Well, we don't necessarily have the like direct tax return um, number, but really, you know, our goal is to is to drive that spending into our businesses. Um, so we want to see all of our restaurants full, um, people exploring our attractions. Obviously, we're, it's about 2,300 room nights over the next couple of days. So our lodging facilities, all our hotels are going to be full um, of families. So that's all folks that are, um, you know, spending their dollars in the city of Lynchburg. And that's really that's that one point five million that um, we hope that our businesses will will see this weekend alone. Um, not to mention the other times when these sports are held, you know, in and around the city throughout the year. So this, you know, the other thing about hosting the Commonwealth Games that is really exciting is that, you know, in 2019, we hosted the State Games of America, sure. which is the national um, amateur Olympics, essentially. And, um, you know, hosting this in the Lynchburg really positions us to be able to bring in some of those larger events as well. And the economic impact for the State Games was well over six million dollars so in in local spending so we want to see those continue to grow let's take a look at uh at the future what uh do you all have coming up that is uh going to assist in, uh, economically for the city of lynchburg as we uh, uh as we're getting through uh, 22 heading into 23 sure well we know that um so you know tourism really is is what we like to call the most dynamic form of economic development it is it is quick. It is fun. Um, it brings people in to spend money in our in our businesses in the city. Um, so, you know, we see in the future um, definitely continued growth with with the colleges and universities, especially with the growth of Liberty and they're entering a new athletic conference mm-hmm. in the next year. Um, you know, so football weekends are going to become even bigger. Absolutely. Um, and we're we're trying to capture kind of all of that economic activity so we can really tell the story about how Lynchburg is such a great place to host these kinds of events, whether that's, you know, festivals, the Virginia 10 miler is about to turn 50 years old. That's a big economic driver that weekend in the, in the city. Um, and not to mention just the growth of all these folks coming in for sporting events um, and other types of uh, types of things. So our goal is to, to capture that data, but then also to position the city and sell the city as a destination for events and meetings and conferences um, and even just a leisure traveler, you know, coming down here and spending the weekend in Lynchburg and really saying Lynchburg is a great place to do that. 
um, and to have a good time and explore our city. Well, uh, Anna Benson, we are glad that you joined us this morning. She is the Assistant Director of Economic Development for the City of Lynchburg, and we appreciate the work that you are doing there to uh, to help our, our uh, city grow strong. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on. The Morning Jam with Janet Rose and Mark Lamb.